Okay, good morning and welcome to Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with a double Dutch pour today. A double Dutch pour. And I'm using all these gorgeous metallic paints um, in just the most lovely, shimmery, shiny colours. Uh, okay, and I've mixed completely different mixes than I normally mix. It's kind of a big test for some paints. I'll explain as I go along. I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't done so, please do so. It's absolutely free. Okay, I have put masking tape on the bottom of my canvas. It just protects the bottom and keeps it clean. So there you go, keep your bottoms clean. I've put my giant push pins, which everybody asks me. If you're in Australia, the link underneath my video in the description box, I get them from Capriol Shabby Chic. If you're elsewhere, you should find giant push pins on Amazon or uh, office supplies, office work supplies. But yeah, they're great. And I hit them in with a hammer, hit them in with a hammer. And when I pull them out, I just wiggle them, wiggle them and they come out. So yeah, people are saying I can't, can't push them in, but you use a hammer. So I've got my little hammer up there with my name on it because my boys come in here and my husband and pinch my stuff. So yeah, I've got a fair bit to get through that I wanna, want to show you today. So I will get busy. Okay, begin with, I have mixed up today, I've mixed up just some white house paint and I have mixed it just with Floetrol. I don't normally use house paint for much, but I have a, a container left. So I just thought, oh, I'll try it with this Dutch pour because you, you're using a lot of thin paint. I thinned it down with Floetrol and then just a little bit of water to get this consistency that's you know good for using for the Dutch pour. The Dutch pour is used as very thin paints. Oh my goodness, where we go? Okay, I've got these um, Art Alchemy Opal Magic paints, which are the gorgeous, like, uh, blue-green. This one's blue-green. Um, this one's blue-pink. And this one is teal-pink. So they've got, like, a colour change thing going on in them. So I have mixed those. Also, I have mixed some colour shift in the green flush by folk art yeah folk art another one by folk art i did some royal gold and i did a folk art metallic blue sapphire so i've mixed all these colors whether i use them all in the one particular piece i'm not sure but i just wanted to show you i've mixed all of these paints with just flow troll so i just wanted to get them the consistency for for doing the dutch or the aussie blow whatever um so i've mixed them up quite thin but as you see they're just glimmering metallics and i've put two drops literally two drops of the gloss varnish into each of the colors so I'm going to see if it actually dries with a shine on it. Um, so I've done that, I've done that, done that, done that. And I have used, oh, so there is the gold one of the folk art that I've just mixed with again, exactly the same with Floetrol and um, just two drops of that varnish. It's just really, I just wanna see if it dries sheeny, shiny. Now for the white that, not for the white that I'm going to put on the base, I've got some of the Jo Sonia's paint here mixed up as well. And that has got the flow troll with just two drops of that varnish. So I'm just trying a whole hodgepodge of things. I've got black, no, Payne's Grey from Montmartre Dimensions and I've got that mixed up with flow troll. I've just got a whole heap of stuff that I was just trying also I've got because I hadn't got a real dark one in the um, 
folk art or the opal magic so I mixed up my um, purple and I put a good dab of the dragonfly glaze into my purple which is oh it's created this lovely like shimmery I don't know if you can see that on camera but I did so there you go I just want to quickly go through all what I'd done to prepare these paints and today I've got a smaller hair dryer oh, it's a travel one so you have got this bendy elbow thing so I can fit it in my drawer I was gonna wipe Jilly's windy wand <laughs> Jilly's windy wand oh my god oh I don't know what I must have I didn't even have a glass of wine when I was thinking of that one. Okay, let me get down to this paint, Paul. Oh, jeez Louise. Going off me nana here. Got all these... Oh, I've got all these things going round in my head that I want to try and get through. And, um, yeah, so it's... Yeah, I'm not getting my words out. And look what I've got. This is for me flies, literally for shooing the flies out because I did a lovely painting the other day and I've come into my art room and find it's had a fly swimming round doing a, a ring pour all of its own so got my fly swatter and away she goes oh jeez right. so this is going to be a double dutch pour right so I might try and do what I've seen all the girls do is blow the paint over the edges <laughs> So wish me luck with this one, won't you? Normally I just use my swiper and... But I'm going to try what I've seen the, the girls do. But oh, this has only got one, two, and it's got no cool, so... Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, you know, because it's got, it's got no cool. Yeah can't be bothered with that I've got to just tilt it I'm not sure if that's going to work now I never even thought of that when I bought that that it hasn't got a cool switch because it's a um, what you call it it's a travel hair dryer so it has got no cool switch it's just got number one and number two so there you go live and learn I wasted $19 Oh, I'll put it in my caravan. That's what I can do. That's disappointing. Never even thought to look at that. So that is definitely something that you guys need to learn from my mistake is if you're buying a hair dryer, just hair dryer to do the Dutch pours is just look that you've got a cool switch because you don't really want the heat heat on to blow it because the heat might uh, dry the paint too quick dry it out too quick so you need to have it on cool is what I'm told so I might just try it when it comes to blow but I think that is a bit wide so I might have to put my other dryer with the narrower diffuser on it okay give this a go Joe all right that's my white so remember it's a double dutch double dutch Alrighty, alrighty, I'm going to start with that very deep purple with the colour shift in it over here. And over here. It gets, oh, I can see just all glistening in there. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this one is just glistening away. It would just be interesting to see how these come out with these particular lovely metallic glimmering colours in. That's my blue one. Blue, blue, blue. It's... Yeah, they're very shimmery 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 um we go the other blue on top of that wow 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 
might go back to my purple just put a bit of purple in here this is a little bit thicker and I'm told for your Dutch paws oh, I'm not gonna swear but it almost makes you swear I tell you those flies this is stretching out a long way so I've probably got the paints too thin again I just cannot get the paints exactly right so just go back over with this lovely shimmery one probably got way too much paint as I normally do I'm not going to you oh maybe I can just put a bit of this white around to blow it back over didn't really want to blow the white paint over the colors because it seems to me that it then um, dilutes the colors and I wanted it as you know if you know me I love bright and vibrant now I'm a bit wary about using this because of the heat but let's give it a go Shall I try and blow the white over it? I know I did that first one wrong. I'm trying to do it slow, slowing down just for my own. I can't get this right. Okay, I'm just going to blow it out. That white I put in is completely stopping me from blowing it, so that's way too thick. And I'm not having... No. Okay, maybe... That was a disaster, but I can tell you the colours are absolutely gorgeous. But of course, like always, I want to leave negative space and I've absolutely obliterated. So it wasn't as planned, but the colours are just shimmering. So I'm going to see if I can help this <laughs> or I need to scrape it. So I'll... play with it that white I put in absolutely hopeless too thick and it's just stuck there oh I'll tell you get away get away wow it is oh look at this Yes, I've got no negative space, but it is absolutely jumping off the canvas with like opal shimmering. So I'm gonna, 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 gonna give it some heat and see if. Um... Bust the air bubbles. Wow. Okay, it is not what I wanted whatsoever. It isn't. And I don't like that hair dryer. I'm going to have to work with it. But I absolutely love this for different reasons because it is just gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. And so when I've finished fiddling, doodling, as you do, it is beautiful and I know that this with resin on it, oh, it will be a stunner. 
So, even though it isn't what I wanted it to be, and I kind of know that that particular hair dryer is not what I need to use for this, because it has got no cold, and it's, it's only either a very soft blow or a full on blow. So I need to work myself on getting my consistency in the paint for these blows absolutely, you know, um, consistent with one another. But the colors, these colors are absolutely, this is that blue, which is the folk art metallic blue sapphire absolutely gorgeous and that green is the green flush absolutely beautiful and even the purple that I mixed up my Montmartre purple with the color shift is just glistening so I'm happy I am really happy it's not I'm happy with it it's not as I started out in my head which often never is but it's gorgeous and that will be a lovely gift or you will sell this no worries once it's got resin on it or jump out so thank you guys for joining me I will now go about trying a second one I'll grab another canvas and I will try another one but I'm very happy with it so wait on to the end for the photos and somewhere down the track about a month away I will um, resin this one and let it let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine okay guys thanks so much for joining me until tomorrow I put videos out every single day so hit the notification buttons if you just want to be reminded or just hop on every day I will have a video out so thank you guys bye for now